today is a regular regular day in the life vlog we in the kitchen with it i am about to make myself some fried fish tacos for dinner i'm so excited came out fire they look good i hope they taste just as good oh the jalapeno mm-hmm yes ma'am uh -huh. the channel which is here we and they make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and when you do turn on your push notifications if you are looking for a youtuber that's consistent baby i am her she's me okay make sure you subscribe i post twice a week sundays and wednesdays i'm consistent i be in the comments i respond to dms like ask anybody i'm very in tune with my audience because y'all are my supporters and i love y'all and we're almost at 50k i cannot believe it and i'm so grateful for the supporters that i have made on this platform like y'all don't even understand i ain't trying to drop a tear this morning but join the fam okay because it's really lit over here like i promise you you will love it so as you can see by the title and the montage i hope you guys enjoy today is a regular regular day in the life vlog um i'm not even sure exactly what i'm going to do today because i don't have many plans what I do know is my kitchen is empty. As you can see, my coffee station is damn near empty. It's empty. I'm running out of things left and right. I just emptied out a creamer. Um, I don't have any more vanilla syrup. Like, it's time to restock. So, I'm probably going to go to Target and grab a couple of things. And I definitely need to go to the grocery store because I don't have no groceries, baby. I don't have no groceries. I don't have no groceries. Like... <laughs> I haven't been having an appetite, y'all. I've been on my cycle. If you're anything like me, when you're menstruating, you don't really eat much. So, my kitchen is empty. I need to restock on a couple of, like, household necessities and things like that. So, I know I'm going to hit up Paris Teeter and Target. Um, and... I kind of am in the mood to cook just because I know as soon as I see new groceries and new things to make food with, I'm going to want to cook. So I'll probably do that. But I have some 
nine to five work to do and I have some editing to do. Today is Wednesday, so it's post day. So I know I'm gonna be doing things here and there, but I definitely will check in with you guys when I'm doing something entertaining, girl, because I don't want y'all to be bored. But yeah, do y'all see the skin glowing? Crazy. Crazy. And that reminds me, I need to take my vitamins. The skincare routine that I just showed you guys has been my go to and love it. The other thing that has been keeping my skin on point are these vitamins from Timmy. It tastes so good. I got that detox and digestion one. This tastes like apples because it has like apple cider vinegar in it. And then I have the Grow and Glow, which is good for like your hair and nails. And this one is strawberry flavor. I actually wanted to see if my nails have been grown lately because when I tell y'all I've been having stubs, stubs, stubby little boy fingers for the past like six months. Um, but now I'm noticing some growth. Like I actually have a little bit of length. They look crazy because I took my press ons not my press ons my gel x nails off last night because i'm gonna redo them i'm like hold on now my nails are actually growing which is crazy so these might be working i haven't had the opportunity to see if my hair been growing because it's been in this quick weave but yeah and they just taste so good like i could eat these like candy i are so long and y'all, when I say this, I'm not trying to like shit on this company, but these vitamins I used to have by Hums, they are disgusting. They're the pill form. And as you can see, I have four full bottles because I can't get through them. They taste so nasty. They stink too. They smell like ass. So I'm going to keep it a buck with you. And I really don't feel like I saw a lot of improvement. Like, I think I was experiencing improvement with, like, my skin. But I think that's because I got my gut health in track with, like, what I was eating. So, when I realized, like, I'm putting myself through hell, smelling and eating these vitamins, girl, I was, like, forget it. And then when I realized, Timmy came out with some gummy vitamins. And then I taste them. Oh, my God, they taste so stinking good. I was like, yeah, I'm not using them anymore. So, I can't get through them. They stink and they, they, don't, they don't taste good. And there are big pills. They are big pills. And I don't like to. No. So if y'all want to try out the Teamy um, vitamins, let me know. I will put my discount code either on the screen or in the description box below because they are really good. Um, definitely don't spend your money and, you know, spend full price. Definitely use my code to get you a discount, mamas, because I really like them. So if y'all do try them, let me know how y'all like them. But yeah, y'all, this is a realistic day in the life. Y'all see, I didn't even put on an outfit. Yeah, I put on pajamas because I'm probably going to chill until like 2 o'clock. Because I got some work to do. And then I will catch up back with y'all when I am either... I'm probably going to go to Tiger first. And then go to Harris Cedar. We're probably going to come home. Cook together. You know, it's Wednesday. But we definitely probably going to have like a Taco Wednesday. Instead of a Taco Tuesday. And I don't know, it's a new month, so I may do like some manifesting with y'all or show you guys how I edit something. I don't know. We shall see, okay? But stay tuned. And make sure you like the video, okay? Hey, y'all. So I just pulled up to the grocery store. And before I get out and I go back out into this weather, I just want to talk. You know, like I just, I just want to wrap you up real quick. Where are the motherfuckers that was bagging, pleading, press, geeked for fall and summer to come sooner i just want to talk i just want to see what what y'all doing how y'all feeling has the seasonal depressions out of kick your ass yet you been okay with all this rain that's been happening every single day hmm are you warm do you have clothes for this weather already if so where did you order from because i ordered my stuff and it ain't come yet no cold did you steal your boyfriend's hoodies yet <laughs> i had me one from last year i wasn't playing I'm cold. I'm freezing my ass off. My nose is starting to run. I look like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. It's not giving. This weather, I could have held out a good two, three more weeks before this weather started punching my ass like this. I be cold in my own house. Like, this is not okay. I don't appreciate it. Like, y'all was geeked. And now I see y'all on Twitter. Sad. 
you can't even be drippy in this kind of weather because I'm freezing. Like, my back hurt, y'all. My spine. I feel like an 83-year-old woman. Like, it's too cold. But anyways, about to go do some grocery shopping. I'm filming on my phone because I forgot to pick up my camera, so... I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Mansion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. And I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every time I had to talk beside I'm in an 80 and one of the twisted different I try to pee all your long to walk and copy a drive. I had to stand too close to the city, you acting too gone we're living this life. I still walk your way through this before I copy all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second change. Put you somewhere where no one can find you. Hey y'all, so we are back. We in the kitchen with it. I got my hair pinned up because I hate when people cook with their hair all out in the kitchen. That's nasty. Don't do it. So, I am about to make myself some fried fish tacos for dinner. I'm so excited. I love fish tacos. This meal was inspired by the Dilly Dilly Taco from Don Taco. That shit was fire when I went over there. It was too good to the point where I'm I'm now trying to make my own, okay? So I have all the ingredients right here. Um, but I want to talk to y'all as I cook. So I'm going to try to film a TikTok on my phone. And then if y'all want to see some clips of that, I'll put it on the screen so y'all can see that. But I really want to talk to y'all because y'all probably tired of the montaging. And I feel like talking. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'm about to go ahead and get all my veggies cleaned up. And I'm going to show y'all everything that we're working with. And we're going to get started. I'm excited. All right, so I just went ahead and washed off my cabbage. My red onion. Somebody called this a purple onion the other day. And I was laughing because, yeah, it's purple, baby. It's a red onion. A tomato and a jalapeno. Um, the other things that I will be chopping up is cilantro. But I don't wash that. Am I dirty? I guess I am. <laughs> Please don't comment me in the comments. And I don't wash the lime because I don't use the outside of the lime. So don't shoot me, but that's what I'm going to do. And then right here I have some cod, but I love to, if I'm using the same cutting board, I'm going to always cut my veggies first and put them aside, put them aside, and then I'm going to cut the meats. So let's see, I want to talk about a couple of things while I cook today. But you know, as I grow and learn more things, I'm just trying to figure out different ways to navigate things. And one thing I definitely want to talk about is the fact that I was never taught how to grocery shop for a single household. I was never taught how to do so. And I struggled when I first moved on, out on my own. I struggled like shit, girl. Like, I ain't even gonna cap to you. I was throwing food away left and right. I was wasting so much food. I was going grocery shopping all the time. When I first moved in, I spent like $500 on groceries. And I'm thinking like that's normal because, you know, I had to buy all of my condiments and stuff like that. But, girl, $500 on groceries is way too much. And I don't have $500 just to be wasted or just spending all willy-nilly. And I'm realizing I grew up in a very large household. I grew up in a very large household. I need to turn this jalapeno around, baby, and take the seeds out because I don't want it to be too spicy. This onion is already making me cry hate that for me absolutely hate that for me fuck <laughs> no that big ass crocodile tear just fell down my face that's crazy and it's gonna have to stay right there too because i can't wipe my face right now but yeah i grew up in a very large household um and my mom is a chef so she cooks all the time i used to be her go-to taste tester and she cooks because she absolutely loves it. It's her passion. And 
I'm an eater, okay? I'm going to eat it. <laughs> but like, yeah, I basically mirrored everything she used to do for our like large household when I moved out. So when I would grocery shop, I was buying food like I live with multiple people and it's just me. Yeah, I'll have company here and there. But baby, it's just you. And at this point, you're wasting all that good food because I can't eat it fast enough. It goes ends up going bad or I'll cook a big meal and I can't finish it. And I don't want the leftovers over and over and over again, girl. So I was going through it to the point where I was like, bro, I'm going to stop grocery shopping. Like, F it. I'm going to just stop grocery shopping <laughs> for a little bit to like, to like make, until I know how to manage my money when it comes to grocery shopping. Like, what the fuck? I was getting irritated. And then... Oh, eating out is a whole different spiel. You get fat immediately, especially if you live in an area where it's just fast food. You know, food deserts always surrounding our black and brown communities. It's the real struggle out here. Like, it's just disrespect coming from left and right. But I think I found the way around it. And I tested it out today. And we're going to see if it works so boom what did i do differently this time so instead of picking up huge portions of stuff that may eventually go furious or burn or i'll forget about it or i'll cook it and then end up throwing away because i don't want it no more i got tinier portions so as y'all probably saw in today's video I went up to the person in the seafood department and asked him for um, a pound of cod. First off, I couldn't even find like a frozen bag of cod. They didn't have any, but all of the other, um, all the other seafoods in terms of fish that were in prepackaged freezer bags, um, they was like $23.99 and up. Who buying all that for one meal? I'm making one meal tonight, like no ma'am. So definitely use, like take advantage of your seafood department instead of going in the frozen section, getting these big ass bags of food that you probably don't need. And then another thing is I will go into a grocery store with different um, meals in my head that I wanna prepare, right? I, I broke it down for myself today. I said, look, you're gonna limit yourself to three big meals and then you're gonna get some, sorry, I'm over here rolling my lime so it can be juicy. Um, I do this with lemons too, FYI. But I was like, let's limit yourself to three meals. So I said, today we're gonna make the um, fried fish tacos. I'm also gonna make like some hot pepper, some hot like sausages and peppers over rice. And then I'm gonna make like, uh, instead of chicken or shrimp alfredo, I'm gonna make salmon alfredo because I already got a big ass thing of salmon in the freezer. So those was the three meals that I stuck to. And of course you get little things to eat here and there like a pizza or oodles and oodles, you know. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. You know, whatever floats your boat, make sure you get those things as well. But yeah. And I realized that helped me a lot because I ended up spending probably like half probably like a little bit more than half of what I usually spend in the grocery store and that was an indicator that I did better this time because I saved more money I usually never season on my cutting board but I'm feeling lazy right now so in order to make the beer batter you got to get some flour I don't know how much but I'm guessing it depends on how much fish you are about to fry and please don't ever ask me for no measurements baby because all i do is eyeball okay if you ain't sneezing you ain't seasoning and you just gotta cook from your heart and go with your gut i had to get me this is what i found a modello girl okay y'all my hair all messed up that's how you know i'm in here getting getting to work okay but i went ahead and turned on my stove i got my oil heating up so i can fry my fish i went ahead and cleaned up the kitchen a little bit put all my seasonings away and we got this thing moving all right the sauce i'm gonna use today is by this uh, louisiana fry fresh product and y'all i opened it and i tasted it already ain't gonna catch it 
and it tastes good it tastes pretty good i feel like it's gonna taste even better when, when all the food is like in combination on the tortilla i'm excited if you didn't know already baby i'm a foodie and now you know okay so yeah one way to test if your oil is hot enough is putting a wooden stick in it what i used to do is splash a little bit of water in it and then it's popping for the rest of the remainder of the time you cook it and that's not good if you see bubbles around the stick it's hot and my oil is hot let me show y'all because i'm really i'm really a chef you just put the stick in the pan and if it bubble up around it like it is right there then that means it's ready it looks so crazy but y'all i just fried my fish and now i got my tortillas warming up i'm about to and i'm about to taste my first like little tiny piece of fish so hot believe it my phone just died in the middle of me trying to get content like girl what is you doing now i'm over here trying to take content pictures with my grandma's ipad <laughs> like photos about to come out crazy as hell because who about to sit and wait and not eat not me but do y'all want to see my tacos because like they probably not even hot no more but they look so good so good let me take you down and show you the tacos came out fire they look good i hope they taste just this good i got me some wine girl about to have a good night period this looks too good Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh, that jalapeno. Mm-hmm. I think I like fish tacos because of the texture you get from the crunch of the cabbage and the crispiness of the batter that's been fried, like the fried fish. You get freshness from the cilantro and the lamb. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video because I'm sure I'm probably going to wrap it up here. I was going to do some dessert, but now since I say after I eat this, I'm going to be done with eating because it's already 7 o'clock. So I look crazy. Don't mind that. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and thank you again so much for watching. I hope you subscribed and liked today's content. Now stop the button and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, mamas. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.